Hey guys, it's your boy Serrano here. Um, this is a video to update the software on the Stylo 2 Plus from Metro PCS. Um, I believe the update came out a few days ago. And I'm going to show you guys <clears throat> how to update your device live. When I first started to look for the update, they went asked me to go into date and they wanted me to change the auto date off, set the time for 11 o'clock. Um, 23 minutes has now passed, so um, I actually now have access to the update after I've done those two things. Now it says, oh, Metro PCS is pleased to provide a new software update. Please make sure your phone is fully charged. To install, make sure your battery and is charged and your Wi-Fi is prompted to download once you have downloaded select restart and install um, it could take up to 30 minutes let's just click that installation button here it says that it's going to reboot in five seconds five three two one rebooting system now android system update preparing to update Okay, so it's already at 18%, um, 20% now, moving along, I'm on the 5 gigahertz band Wi-Fi right now, so I should be getting uninterrupted un 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 <clears throat> un um, service here. That's one of the benefits of having the five band gigahertz band on the Metro PCS um, LG Stylo 2 Plus. They do provide that here, which is a great feature for the phone. A lot of people say they don't see the difference between the two, but it definitely speeds up the process. Okay, um, we're going to wait for that to go ahead and download as well. Hopefully it doesn't take too long here. And we just got to be patient. Do not press any of the buttons here on the screen. Just let it do its thing. Don't don't try to power it off or mess with anything because that will mess up the packaging of the update. And we do not want any mistakes downloading this. So we'll we'll just be patient right now and um it's already at thirty four percent. Three minutes in to the video. Thirty seven, and it says it could take up to thirty minutes. So I'm prepared for that. Um, Hopefully it doesn't take that long. And I could I'm gonna probably just pause the video right now and um continue it when the video has fully downloaded, okay? So I'm gonna press the pause button and return right back when it is fully downloaded. Okay. Okay, let's see where we're at now. I just unpaused it. It's at 54%. Still a ways to go, so I'll come back in a few seconds. Still downloading. It's um, 
on 74% now. And um, has anyone had any problems with this download? Leave your comment below. Um, I'm getting there. I'm almost in. Let me know what you guys thought about this update. Uh, did you notice any different changes before and after? Is your style of working better since you've updated the phone? Here on my phone, I have the quick cover case with the soft um, DS skin right here. This is the generic quick cover case with the Stylo 2 Plus. You can see the comparison video of the original and the generic. In my channel, please like down below and subscribe again to check out that video. Get yourself one of these nice soft cases. The inside is like DS skin, the outside is like a fiber texture. We're at 84% now, and I'll come back in just a second. I'm wondering if this update will increase the functionality of the pen, maybe give it some more accuracy. That would be pretty cool. Also, and I see what they did with the LG Stylo 3 Plus when they put additional features in the notepad. I'd like to see that incorporated on the, to the old Stylo 2 where you could actually see each page on the left hand side as well as the note taking um, toggle feature that comes out when you take the pen out. So we'll see if, you know, they've added anything. I'll, I'll, I'll do a before and after to see if there's any difference of, of functionality with the pen or the, with the fingerprint scanner or overall with the phone. We'll just have to play with it and um, see what the difference will be um, loading it up. So we'll just wait for the package. To completely install it says it's at 96 7 percent we're almost there grab yourself a snack go get a cup of water you know you still have some time until two percent left one percent left i should probably do a reset after this it says it's going to restart 100 percent all right so now my machine is powering on it's installing the update and that's that's a great image right 3d image of the android caricature it's really hd the graphics look nice that's pretty cool animation there um, this should only take a minute so I'm gonna pause the machine I'm gonna pause the video and come back okay where are we here looks like it's in the middle halfway done stay tuned guys be patient as these updates tend to take very long up to 30 minutes so far, it's been like 15, maybe 10 minutes. Um, we will resume in a bit. Let me pause it one more time. Nine minutes into this video. A um, little bit more than halfway. Here on the system update of the Metro PCS LG Stylo. 2 plus uh, live update when these updates come out a lot of people ask me where do I go to download the update or how do I get the update or how long will it take or is it worth it well that's why I'm recording this video is to answer those questions so continue watching and see for yourself 
is this update worth it for the stylo 2 plus we just have a little bit more to go here it's about a tiny bit more we're almost finished thanks for being patient with me thank you for watching the update of the stylo 2 plus we will determine how this affects the performance of the phone right after I'd also like to see apps being able to be moved to and from my SD card with this update, but that might be too asking for too much because I doubt that that is going to be packaged here, but that would be ideal. Okay, guys, this thing should be done in any second now. Any moment, my machine will load up with the new Android update. And you'll be able to see it first, just as I am. And there it is. My screen is booting back up. And um, it still has that Metro PCS on the nationwide T-Mobile network when you load it up. That hasn't changed. What else do we get when we want to see any differences with the, the this update as opposed to prior to the update? Want to make sure that it boots successfully. And um, once I see it's on my phone, I'll go ahead and confirm that in the settings. I believe my phone was running on M LG MS 550. So it's optimizing my apps right now. This may take longer depending on apps. Please do not remove battery until complete. All right, so let's just pause the video and I'll be back in just a moment. If I get close enough, you could see the fabric of the case. It's like a fur. It feels really good when you when your hands resting against it. Right now I have my device plugged up to the charger. It's it's about 80%, but uh, since it's been charging, it should probably be at least about 85 to 90 by now. So it's okay to use your charger. Just make sure you have at least 70% on your battery. And that's before you download the update. Make sure your phone is nice and charged. Make sure you connect it to the charger. Um, but it's probably not necessary. You just got to have at least 70%. All right, finishing up. Two more apps left to go before my Android boots up and I get a brand new Android system to work with. There it is, 42 out of 42. My, my machine will power on at any moment. Uh, Android is upgrading and starting the apps. Android is 
finishing the boot. And then Android is upgrading, finishing the boot. So now you should get this message when your Android is fully, almost fully done completing the update. Uh, it's almost finished here, guys. Doing the final touches and making sure that my system is pristine and optimized and running nice and smooth for the new year. It could come on at any moment now. And yes, it has. Um, the first thing that I want to try to do when I try this device is to see that if the fingerprint will work. I want to see if the fingerprint will actually work here without for the first time. And yes, it did. Wait. Nope, so you still have to use your password the first time you unlock it out of a reset. Okay, let me type that in. And I'm back and running and I have the update of the Android system here. I'll go into settings. I'll go into uh, software info and here it is guys, the software version has changed. So I'm on the new system and um, I'll make another video if I notice any further changes. Again, I thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Serrano. Please like and subscribe if you felt this was helpful. And thank you. I'll follow up with another video of this one if I notice any differences. Okay. Have a good day.